In 2008, Dr Clifford Reed left the NHS to work in Australia. He intended to stay for one year, but five years on, he has no intention of coming back. There are several main differences between working here and working in the NHS. Those include being able to do more than one job. So I work part-time in emergency and part-time here for the helicopter service. And that kind of portfolio career arrangement is very, very common over here. In the emergency department, we seem to be better resourced. There are more doctors and there's better access to some of the investigations and some of the treatments that emergency patients need. With wildfires burning around Sydney, emergency services here are at full stretch, but Clifford still believes it's a better working environment. The majority of the other doctors, both here at the helicopter service and in the emergency department where I work, are British or Irish. In fact, if all the Brits went home from Australia, the healthcare system here would probably collapse. Earlier this month, the College of Emergency Medicine spoke out about what it called the intolerable pressure on staff. 62% of emergency consultants said they found their workload unsustainable. The college also published statistics showing that in 2009, two A&E consultants left the NHS to work abroad. This year, up to August, 21 have taken jobs overseas. A small proportion of the total, but a significant rise nonetheless. The British Medical Association has also surveyed doctors about plans to emigrate, not just those working in emergency care. Unfortunately, many more people are now investigating that than ever before. Some people investigate it out of frustration and decide not to move, and of course um, sometimes it's not possible to find suitable jobs abroad. But what should be of real concern here is the sheer number of people who spend part of their time dreaming about being able to move abroad because of the frustrations of working here. The government has committed £500 million to those accident and emergency units in England that are struggling to cope with demand. It also insists that most doctors who move abroad come back eventually. On the whole, we know that those doctors who do go and work overseas come back to work in the UK um, because they know that the NHS is a, offers a very good reward package, both in terms of salaries and in terms of the quality of care that is provided to patients. Dr Alison Goldthorpe will soon be leaving Liverpool for a job in New Zealand. Having been to New Zealand before, I found that there's much less bureaucracy, much less box ticking, and you really can practice medicine autonomously um, and give the time and quality of care to your patients that you want to give. Do you feel guilty at all that you've done your training in the UK, in the NHS, and you're going to be going abroad and, and taking your skills elsewhere? I am disappointed that I am having to go abroad. Um, to get the training that I think I need. Um, so I do feel guilty about leaving the NHS, yes, um, but I think that it's necessary for me to be a good doctor. There is two-way traffic. The NHS, of course, recruits medical staff from overseas, but Alison believes that'll get harder unless working conditions here improve. And for now, she says her professional prospects look brighter on the other side of the world. Tim Muffet, BBC News.